song, but with happy song of assurance sweet. Of assurance sweet. Still a press along. Still a press along. There's just one way.
was glad to be here this morning. But I want us to realize today God's still in control. God knows exactly what He's doing. I was praying. Pardon the tears that they come, but I love Jesus and I'm not ashamed of my tears. Laying in bed praying and asking God what to preach on today. I believe you have to pray your messages down. About one o'clock I got up. Begin to read. Begin to study the Word of God. And he said, preach on fear. That this morning, it's went along with that. Many people have fear about things. But I want us to realize God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And saints, what He done then, He can do now. We realize today that God is still on the throne and prayer changes things. Amen. And I want us to realize today, I don't care what comes or goes, God's still in control. And we have to stand on that word. If you don't stand on this word, you're not going to have a good foundation. You're going to have to be founded on the word of God. And we realize that the word was in the beginning, which was Jesus Christ, and is still the foundation today. It will stand on it and believe him, obey him, and do his divine will. Said in it, we find that in Judges, the seventh chapter, God spoke to Gideon, which name was Jerubbabel. And God told him, says, I want you to take an army and go against the Midianites, which was a heathen nation. And whenever he did, he sent out a word and told the people to come and gather that's going against the Midianites and is going to defeat them because God had already said, amen? How many knows that when God said it, it's going to come to pass? It says in the last days, perilous times shall come. Men shall be lovers of themselves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers uh, against such. Uh, we've realized today uh, that the same thing is in the world today uh, that God spoke of then. Uh, but saints, I'll tell you, we still have the victory in Calvary. Amen. And I want us to realize today when God told him to go against the Midianites, he gave the army in, but they was fearful. How many know God will separate the people? Whenever he did, he told them, and there's 22,000 came in. And God told him, says, those that is fearful and afraid, tell them to go back home. Amen. That lived out of the 22,000, he had 10,000 left. And when he did, he told them, he said that whenever they do, well, I want them to go and begin to drink. And says those that fall on their knees and get to drink, said, send them home. We don't need them. Then he said, it's only come right down to it. There's only 300. 
How many realize that today God's word's going to come to pass no matter what happens? If we're just two or three, God's church going to prevail. And I want us to realize today we can stand on it and whenever he began to do what God told him to do, God told him, says, I'm going to give you the victory. And he kept bringing it down until there's only 300. But I want you to realize today God still give them the victory and they still have it today. And I want us to realize today 1 Kings 18 and 30 says, And Elijah repaired the altar. King Ahab had tore the altars down, and they were serving Baal. And God told Elijah, says, You rebuild the altars. If we will rebuild the altars and get on our knees and sing God, God will hear and answer prayer. There's a lot of fears today. People is fearing uh, this COVID-19. Uh, and there's another strain coming out uh, that worse than that. Uh, and they're saying on the news uh, that there's several thousand that had come down in the last few days. Uh, but saints, it don't worry me uh, because I'm anchored uh, in Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm anchored uh, in the one that spoke in the beginning uh, and created the earth. Uh, and he created me. Uh, and saints, I, I was created to serve him. Find Elijah repaired the altar. How many knows we need to repair the altar today? We need to seek God as never before. How many knows we'll be made fun of? We'll be criticized. And I've had several things happen to me. I'm 88 years old and went through quite a bit. I was working in a church in Dallas, Texas. Dorothy Davis and her husband Willard was pastoring the church. And they, she would go out and rent a building and have meetings at certain times. And they took me with them. And they went down to Houston, I believe it was. I forget the town. And she rented a big theater building. How many remembers the orchestra pit in front? And said on each side, you could see down the doors and see behind. And I was sitting there and Dorothy taking a pianist and different ones and she's fixing to preach. And I, for some reason, I believe it's the hand of God. I was looking through that door and I seen how many knows what a war frat is. It's a big rat. And I nudged Willard. I said, Willard, did you see that rat? He began to poke fun at me. But it didn't stop me. He began to say, Riddlesburger, get up there and go catch it. Catch them rats. We need them rats. Go catch them rats. I looked at him and I said, Willard, what's going to happen when them rats begin to come up on the platform where your wife and the pianist player is? I said, the pianist player is going to be on top of the piano. I said, your wife's going to be up on top of the pulpit and people are going to find a place to go. And he said, you know, about the third night that happened. And said, my wife was where you said she'd be, the pianist. And I know her, and she was where, on the piano where she said she'd be. And same time, they said there's men up there with their boots on, literally stomping those rats to death. But I want you to realize today, we don't have to fear. We can stand on the Word of God. And we may find out today, we may not have many standing with us. Gideon only had had 300, but he won the victory anyway. We may be few in number, and you're standing alone sometimes and wondering, Lord, where is
is my help. But saints, I'll tell you, when we get a hold of the prayer bells of heaven and begin to ring the prayer bells, God's going to hear and answer prayer. God's going to move in a great and a mighty way. Amen. You say, Brother Lloyd, do you fear things? No, I don't. This scripture says, Spirit of fear and a sound mind. Saints, when we have Jesus in our heart, we don't have to fear. Amen. I know I walk funny. I know a lot of people, when wife and I goes and shops and things, they wonder why I walk like I do and wife outwalks me now. But saints, when you've got a steel rod down in your leg here and a plastic socket up here and put it into your back with screws, it makes you walk funny. But saints, I'm still proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. They say you're too old. You ought to retire. Saints, I don't want to retire. I want to reform. They're where I can reach out and see the glory and the power of Almighty God. I want this church to begin to rebuild the altar of prayer and get in and lay hold of the promises of God. And the devil may try to put cancer. He may try to put different things on you. But saints, if you realize, put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ for he is Lord of Lords and the King of Kings we find whenever we begin to walk with God there is no fear to believe and to trust him when the pickup that hit me on this side and crush this whole side right here. I still had no fear. I remember it's very vivid in my mind. From about here up, I was up under the pickup. And you don't have much room up under one of them. But I didn't have any fear. When that aircraft blade fell and busted me up in my spine and my vertebrae and all messed up, I still had no fear. And a man come later after that and told me, said, Lloyd, said, I walked up, looked at you laying there on the ground and said, he told him, says, call the morgue, he's dead. But saints, I'm still alive proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm still alive saying Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. For I realize today that God is not the father of a fear, but he gives us a sound mind. Amen. And I want us to lay it right side every weight. What's hindering us today? What's hindering us from doing what God's told us to do? Whenever we need to realize we're living in the last days. You see, they can quote the scripture in the last days perilous time will come. Have you seen any more perilous times than we are today? Look at the children. It's affecting their minds. It's COVID. It's a trap fact in the life of many people today. And a lot of times people don't want to go. But saints, I'll tell you, I'm ready to go and proclaim the gospel. If I'm in a thousand people around, I know my God still lives. Amen holding on to what gives us. John 1 4 and 18 says no fear in love. Amen. We shouldn't fear. We should hold to the word of God and to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. How 
one that every once in a while take wife and I out to eat in Ron's. And they learn right quick that we don't eat until I say the prayer over the meal. And they look at me kind of funny, but they'll bow their heads anyway. And I ask the blessing. But saints, we don't need to fear what others think or what they say. Amen? Amen. As I was sitting there, and I felt someone tap me on the shoulder, right on the right-hand shoulder here. And I turned and looked as a woman about that far from my ear. And she said, I want to thank you because you asked the blessing over your meal. She says, the most of them, you set it in front of them, and they just go to diving in and eating. But saints, I want to give my God praise. Amen? I want to serve Him for what He's done for me and what He means to me right now. We need to realize uh, that the devil is not in charge. But my God, uh, Brother Coy, He's still in charge. Uh, he's still in charge of what He wants me to do. Uh, he's still got His hand up on me. And no matter what the devil throws at me, I'm still going to shout the victory anyway. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. God hadn't given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of a sound mind. Lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Amen. How many is willing to run the race? I may get a little hard. And some people think I'm a hard preacher. But saints, we need to get up, with, line up with the Word of God and do what God tells us to do. We need to line up with that Word because that Word is what's going to carry us to heaven. It's that Word that can bring us victory. It's the Word that can give us a, a joy and a peace and not fear. Amen? Amen. No matter what happens in this world, God's still in control. Amen. And He still hears and answers prayer. I've seen God move in mighty ways. And I've been touched by the hand of God. Saints, I'm not ashamed of what people think. Because, Brother Coy, I know the God that has got his hand on me and willing to carry me through the storms. Amen. Don't be afraid. We find that whenever God told Gideon to call the armies in, it brought in 22,000 people to go to war, and God told him, said, that's too many. Send those that's fearful and afraid to send them back home. And it left them 10,000. Whenever they did, God says, those that will fall down on their knees and drink, send them home. But those that lapse like a dog with their tongue, says, they're the ones. Amen. You see, compare that to the Word of God. Saints, when we can get into this Word, we can begin to drink in the Word of God. Saints, it'll sustain us. Blessed is holy name because he's still the same today as he was then we don't have to fear and saints whenever you're going against an army of several thousand people you'd think just 300 people what's that to compare to the thousands but saints when Jesus is for us who can be against us? And saints, I want us to realize today, God's got a purpose for this church. God's got a purpose for each one of our lives today. But have you got an altar of prayer? Perfect love casts out fear. 
Are we obeying God? Do we have an altar of prayer just to pray and seek God and get alone with God? Saints, I want us to realize today God will carry us through. I met a man several years ago, Demetria Dudeman from Romania. His son, her grandson, interpreted him for him because he couldn't speak English when his grandpa would preach and then his grandson would interpret it. And it's he did. God began to move. He was persecuted. Brother Dudeman was. They'd take him, and I have a book. The pastor, I let him read it. He's got it, reading it. And he tells about his life through the fire without burning. And saints. It showed pictures in that book of the jail where they'd take him and beat him. They showed the place where the, he was tortured. But yet he held to the faith. And they said, we'll get rid of him. We'll just send him to America. And they sent him from Romania to America. When he did, he was proclaiming the same gospel as he proclaimed there. He helped smuggle Bibles into Russia. Whenever he did, many of them got the Word of God that had never had it before. Saints, we've got a work right here to do. We've got a God that will equip us with His Word that we can see the glory and the power of Almighty God. Perfect love cast out fear. Saints, I want us to realize we need that perfect love today where we don't fear the things of this world. You say, well, Brother Lord, what about the COVID? I, I don't want to get that. Saints, we don't need that fear. We need the fear of the Lord in our hearts instead of the fear of the world. Amen? Amen. Where we can stand upon the Word of God, knowing everything will come to pass that He's prophesied in this Word of God. God told Jerubal, he said, you and your servant, go down and hear what they're saying. He went down, him and his servant, and they heard him talking. And he began to tell about these things. And he said, that's nothing more than Gideon, which is, they call Zerubbabel Gideon and says that he is the one that's going to win the war, the fight, because God is with him. Saints, and when they did, they took courage. It's time to take courage today. Amen? Amen. Can I say something else today? We need to get behind the pastors never before with our prayer life. We need to get behind our pastor in being faithful to church. We need to get behind our pastor and lift him up because until you pastor, until you pastor people and there's confusion and things, you don't know how it is. But saints, whenever you have Jesus and you have unity where you have love and compassion for one another, the Spirit of God can move. Amen? Amen. Now I want us to realize that we've got a pastor that's not ashamed to preach the gospel. He's not afraid to lay it out how it is. But saints today, are we ashamed? Are we fearful? Perfect love will cast out fear. Amen. Do we have that perfect love in Jesus Christ? Do we have the love of Jesus? Do we that we're willing to do what God wants us to do? And all of you realize that I don't drive. Wife's broke me from driving because she don't want to ride me driving. 
Now I don't want to drive at night when it's dark because of my eyes. But I thank God that He furnishes the way. We can come to the house of God. We can praise and lift up the name of Jesus. Saints today, if we have the faith to believe, don't fear what's coming to pass. Just have fear of disobeying God. Not doing what God wants you to do. Saints, because we're living in the last days, and I believe there's worse days coming ahead. But it's time to get a hold of the hand of the living God and knowing that God says, I'll carry you through. He's going to carry us through if we'll hold to His unchanging hand in Him. Amen? And saints, now I don't mean to be criticizing anyone but saints, we need to be like our pastor that everything is done through prayer. Amen. And we need to line up with that prayer life. Amen? Amen. To believe God. You said, Brother Lloyd, how do you pray? I've got a shop out back of the house there. Many a times I went out there and got songs by a lot of different groups. Gospel singing and preaching. And I sit down and listen to that. And I feel the Spirit of God begin to move. Because I get alone with my Lord and Savior. And I'm beginning to say, Lord, I need your help. I need the anointing. I need your presence as never before because Jesus said I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. And I'll say this but I want us to realize today that what God promises he'll do it. And I want us to realize today he said, all things is possible to what? Then they believe. And I was telling this morning, this happened. There's a family reunion in Oklahoma City. And I went up to Oklahoma City to this reunion. They wanted me to come. And I went up there. And there was a man and his wife there from California and he was an infidel he didn't believe in God and what he done surprised me come to me and brother Coy he looked me in the eyeballs and said would you pray for Patsy that was her name I said I will when I hear from God saints how many knows we got to hear from God before we act That night we lay down and went to sleep and God spoke to me. He said, pray for her. Next morning I got up. I walked to the door led into the kitchen where there's several women in there preparing breakfast. I said, just shut it down. I've heard from God. And they shut everything down. We gathered around we anointed her with oil and prayed for her. Doctors had told him, said, get a van that she can lay down because she's got a brain tumor and it's cancerous and only a few days to live. And we prayed and sought God and the Spirit of God moved. Next morning they got up and went back to California. Whenever they did, two weeks after that, 
I had a phone call from him. And he said, Lloyd, says it took Patsy back to the doctors. They give a CAT scan and all this that they do. And said, there's no more cancer and no more tumor. Saints, he's the same right now. If there's trouble in a family, if they can come together in unity, then they can have answers from the Lord. Amen? Yeah. Saints, I feel the presence of God this morning. Yes, Lord. If you've got fear, I feel this is for someone. If you've got a fear, and I don't know what it is, but if you've got fear, begin to take it to the Lord in prayer because perfect love casts out fear. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you feel the presence of God this morning? If you've got a need, this may be different than the way our pastor do it. But if you've got a need in saying, Brother Lloyd, I need prayer. You don't have to say what it is because God already knows. I'll call some of these prayer warriors with us and we'll reach out and touch the hem of the Master's garment. Do you want to touch that hem this morning? Do you want an answer for a problem that you have? God's a problem solver. Let's believe God. Let's get a hold of God and say, Jesus, not my will, but thy will be done. And as Jerubbabel went against the Midianites, he won the victory, though he was outnumbered by many, many soldiers. Saints, it's not in the number. It's in your consecration. It's in your love for Jesus Christ. It's in what your heart, the mouth, the Bible says from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Amen? Amen. And saints, let's begin to show the love that God wants us to show. Let's don't have the fear you say, what if I get COVID? Saints, I've got a God that can conquer that. Amen. I've got a God that can heal cancer. Amen. I've got a God that can raise the dead. Amen. Saints, I tell you, the God that we serve today is still on the throne and prayer changes things for you and I. It will simply believe and hold to the unchanging hand of Almighty God. And I want to ask if there's anyone this morning, you don't have to say what it is, but you're going through a trial. Maybe there's fear in your life. Fear for your children. Fear for your loved ones. And you say, I, if they die, I don't know whether they'd be ready to go. Whatever fear that you have, I want you to come. And we're going to pray that God will give you peace. That all is well. Amen. Amen. All is well this morning. Is there anyone that would step out and say, Brother Lloyd, I need that prayer this morning. I need you to pray and the church to pray. It's not just me that can pray. It's all of us pray together. Amen? Amen. And believe God. 
You may have a problem in your life. It may not be of a sickness. But you can have a problem in your life that you need to answer from God. I want you to come and we'll leave God with you and hold to the Master's hand. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Shall we stand? I want us to come. I haven't preached a long time. It's that time to come to the altar. And I want us to come around these altars. And let's touch God. Let's touch God for each one of us. Let's touch God for our passion. Let's touch God for this church. the home. 
things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Hold to God's unchanging hand. So